my name is Alan Tolbert. I am the bugler that recorded all of the different calls that you hear whenever playing this great game um, from different maneuvers on the battlefield uh, to different things that go on when forming an army or, or anything of the like. Uh, I'm your guy. I'm coming to you from Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, which is on the east coast of the United States of America, not far from Washington, D.C., and Philadelphia, New York City, in that general area. So I just wanted to make a brief video just explaining uh, how I made these recordings, the culture and history of, of bugles and bugling in the Civil War, and just try to inform you so that you can learn a bit more um, from this game. Um, so first of all, let me talk about this instrument. This is a B-flat bugle. Uh, the maker is Amadi Crosslice. Um, most bugles in the Civil War looked something like this. Um, I have a blue cord here, which is the color of infantry, because um, I am also a Civil War reenactor here in the States, and I am an infantry bugler. Um, but they were just about this size, most of them tuned to the key of B flat, um, just like a lot of modern trumpets are tuned to t today. Um, and it basically works the same way that a trumpet works, except, of course, the easy difference is there aren't the three valves that trumpets have. Um, but just like the way of a trumpet works is that I just buzz my lips <laughs> into this mouthpiece, and that basically just amplifies the sound, and the standing waves within the instrument vibrate, and then I get a tone. Um, the valves on the trumpet allow me to get the chromatic notes in between each what we call partials, which are basically just uh, frequencies where the instrument naturally resonates. So without the valves, I can get five notes which all of these calls are played among. <laughs> those five different notes. So the history of, so why bugles? Why, why trumpets? Why do militaries pretty much all up until the time when we get radios and internet communication, why do we all use bugles? Well, basically, as long as there have been people and as long as there have been wars going on, we've had trumpeters and buglers because they can sound over long distances. Um, in the Civil War battlefield particularly, if you have all different kinds of sounds going on and all different kinds of chaotic situations, the bugle was really able to cut through all of that, um, that chaotic sound. And, and if you also think about how you want a message to be delivered, if you want to give a unit in the, in the battlefield a command to do something and you send a courier or a messenger, uh, they could get shot down or they could misinterpret the message and, and by word of mouth, uh, convey the order that their commanding officer gave to them incorrectly. But with the bugle, the calls are very particular. They're very uh, distinct from one another. And from across the field, the, the resonance that this horn gets will cut through that sound of gunfire and, and all the different sounds going on on the battlefield. Um, so, but ever since we've had wars and people, we've had the bugle because it's a relatively easy tool to make. You just kind of fashion some metal and make sure there's no leaks in it, and then you pretty much have got everything that you need. Uh, the history of trumpets basically goes back to the Egyptians, who were the first people to really master the, the, art, the art of working metals and such. So, um... Let me just dive into some of the calls that I play. I have a couple books here. So all the calls that I play and recorded are authentic, and I've been reading music that is from um, reproductions of the actual manuals that musicians in the Civil War were given. This particular manual called Army Regulations for Drum, Fife, and Bugle. Uh, a complete manual for these instruments giving all the calls for camp and field duty to which is added suitable music for each instrument by William Nevins. So this is the Nevins manual and when you flip through this book it has all the different calls for the drum, the fife, uh, the fife is a wooden flute, and the bugle. 
uh, for each of the different branches of the military. You have infantry calls, um, you have artillery calls, cavalry calls, and then different tunes for each instrument, uh, basically for enjoyment or music that the soldiers would keep on the march. I also have another manual here called the Bugler's Call Book, which is period correct, that has all the different calls from things that you would play in camp, things that you would play whenever you're drilling, uh, things that you would play on the battlefield, and for all the different branches for the infantry, artillery, and cavalry. Um, so everything that I've played is period correct, and it is the exact same notes and the exact same music that you would hear on the Civil War battlefield, which I think is pretty cool that, you know, we have all these things that we wish could uh, transcend time, we wish we could talk to famous people from, from history, we wish we could see a Civil War battle, but we don't understand that we can hear it. Um, and going to a Civil War reenactment is something I think everyone should do if you can get the chance. But what's interesting is that the music that we that they played back then is still alive today. Um, so I'm going to play a call for you here just so you can basically see the process. I record all of these calls just on my iPhone with a, a little microphone that I plug into the end. This is the microphone that goes into the bottom of my phone and I'm here in my sister's bedroom uh, just so I get a nice dry space to get the calls nice and clean in the way that I like them. So I'm going to play a little bit of a call called um, the Assembly. And the Assembly would uh, gather the troops up from the, basically they're just sitting around camp uh, waiting to form up for drill or battle or dress parade. And it would bring them formed up in their company ranks at the end of their company street. So this is the assembly. So that's the assembly. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot from this. I hope that you really enjoy playing the game. Um, I am going to post my email at the bottom of this video. I might have it up there the whole time. But uh, if you're looking for somebody to record anything for any games you're developing, uh, shoot me an email. Uh, again, my name is Alan Tolbert, and I just wanted to thank the developers of the game for giving me this awesome opportunity to record some, some great historical uh, pieces of music and uh, thanks very much. Have a great day.